two or three years ago, it would have seemed highly improbable not just that an actress like Nicole Kidman would have an active Instagram presence, but that she would have a presence on the social network at all. Instagram, until fairly recently, was the province of pop and reality stars, its rulers the likes of Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande, Beyonce, and the Kardashian sisters. In the past few months, however, there has been a shift in the Insta landscape, in which A-list actors, many of whom previously would have seemed too famous or serious to concern themselves with the likes of filtered photos and crafted captions, have now entered the field. And one might not have to look much farther than Kidman's Big Little Lies co-star Reese Witherspoon to understand it. Witherspoon, who now has close to 13 million followers on the platform, is, of course, an Academy Award-winning actress and extremely successful producer and businesswoman. And while her Instagram account is very much in her voice, and does not feel like a PR machine, it does work to some degree as a powerful means of promoting and generating excitement about her projects. She'll post boomerangs of her latest Draper James designs, behind-the-scenes shots from Big Little Lies that get picked up by scores of entertainment blogs, and Instagram stories that announce the latest selections from her book club. And there are sunny family shots and more light-hearted fair plenty, as well. Her Instagram is essentially a fan club hangout space. Following her account is basically like signing up for a Reese Witherspoon newsletter and TV show wrapped up in one. Her posts nestled in your feed amongst your IRL friends that her account has been such a success in brand building and organizing has helped pave the way for other actresses with similar prestige Y backgrounds. Laura Dern, Witherspoon's wild co-star and good friend, uses her Instagram in the same sort of manner, a mix of day-to-day -day ephemera, a martini glass, Jurassic Park socks, with project or advocacy-related content. Witherspoon convinced Natalie Portman to join Instagram, and the actress primarily has used her account as a platform for her work with Time's Up. Jennifer Garner, another Witherspoon pal, has used Instagram as a way to overhaul her image, showing a side of her, with post-wisdom teeth footage in a ballet spotlight weekly series, that fans likely only had a vague sense of before she began posting regularly. Movie star actors like Tom Cruise and Will Smith have also recently entered the playing field, both adhering to a similar model, mixing up carefully chosen personal shots with work-related offerings. Kidman may be the most surprising entrant into the Instagram fray though. The actress posted for the first time the day after the Golden Globes, with a slightly blurry candid shot in which she is seen hoisting her prize in the air. She already had a sense of Instagram jargon, beginning her caption about last night. From there, Kidman, or whatever team might be working with Kidman, has quickly learned how to skillfully navigate the terrain. She posts on her friends' birthdays, and shares behind-the-scenes candidates from set and boomerangs from photo shoots. She also mixes and posts supporting her husband, Keith Urban, and his musical efforts. Every once in a while, a post seemingly arrives out of left field. In February, she posted a shot of her cat, Queen Snow, perched up on an elegant bench while peering out of a window. Of course Kidman's cat is as regal as she is. Her comment reads breezily, I just wanted to introduce you to Queen Snow. I think you have already met her sister Ginger. XX. An artistic shot of the Los Angeles sky, on the last day of shooting Karen Kusama's Destroyer, gives a sense of the sort of snapshot Kidman thinks to take on her iPhone. And the caption on this one, in which she thanks the cast and crew for giving so generously to Kusama's, vision sounds exactly the way you'd expect Kidman to verbalize it. She also makes news with her account, sharing the first image of Meryl Streep on the Big Little Lies set on Thursday. While it is not as if her Instagram has uncovered this wild new side of Kidman previously unforeseen, or dramatically changed how we view her, Kidman, who has amassed more than 800,000 followers in a few months, does, perhaps, as a result of the regular sharing, seem less distant or unknowable. That we now get to contemplate her posing cheekily for an Instagram story, or offering a smile before leaving for an awards show, that one was fun, wasn't it? We envision her suggesting with a laugh, only deepens our sense of her public image. In the way we are used to our serious actors and actresses posing for magazine covers, 
perhaps we are now at a point where it becomes a given that they will be posting on Instagram as well. And in the same way that eventually celebrities had no choice but to create some kind of Facebook presence, when the site became the behemoth it did, Instagram is on its way to similarly becoming a platform you can't easily avoid if you want to have control over your public narrative. One imagines, at this rate, and given the success Kidman, Witherspoon, and other major actors have had on the platform, Street herself will be hashtagging and storying by the summer.